Hi everybody, Renegade68 here with some more Let's Play Ever 17, the Out of Infinity line. So, last time, I am not me, but I'm somebody else, but I'm also Takeshi, but we're... There's also another Takeshi, but I don't think that Takeshi is my Takeshi. The same way that Shonen isn't my Shonen, but at least that Shonen doesn't look like my Shonen, whereas Takeshi looks like my Takeshi. As far as I know, I haven't seen a good close-up look at Takeshi, but I'm pretty sure Takeshi looks like Takeshi, but Shonen doesn't look like Shonen, so Shonen looks like uh, fake Elric brother, the fake older Elric brother, and then young Shonen looks like fake younger Elric brother, so we're, we're both fake Elric brothers. So the real Elric brothers, are they're gonna want their identities back. Anyways, Clone Law, what? Yes, the clone law with a P. Oh, that was weird. The way I read that, it was like the clone law, but you put the little the little marks, the the sort of quotes, the mini quotes around clone law, but then there was quotes around the period. So I saw a quote and then quotes around the period. So I saw the period and like, what's so special about this period? Nothing. Okay, never mind. I don't know. I mean, I forgot. In 2010. Human cloning, which had been illegal up until then, was allowed by law. By the law! Now, Currently, as long as uh, anyone receives the approval of the authorities, cloning may be used as a method of, to treat infertility. Good. Good. I need more babies. More, more good babies. They take the nucleus from an already cultivated somatic cell and then insert it into an egg that has had its original nucleus removed. So, um, but that begs the question, is cloning in other ways illegal at the moment? I suppose? I think that's what they're implying. Uh, and also, does this mean that maybe like, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if the bigger ones would be the originals or the smaller ones, but if Sugumi came from Takeshi's timeline and went into Shonen's timeline, if that's even a thing, then that would imply that, um, Koko and Takeshi? Question? No, Koko and Shonen. Or Koko and Takeshi? I don't know. They, they were the originals and they were maybe gonna die and were cloned as babies and that led to two different timelines that intertwined? I don't know. Then they implanted into the mother's womb. I actually remember that line being slow in the other timeline as well. Consistent. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Do you understand? But what does that have to do with this? Clones develop separately. In other words, they're different entities. They're not the same person. Yeah, blah, blah. Same shit. Same shit. Same shit. For a while, I just stood there lost in thought. There was doorbell ditching and eating and running, but I figured there wasn't a word like chat and run or debate and ditch. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, this is just after the Sora conversation, by the way. That just finished, so... I'm not entirely sure if this is something new or not. I don't recognize this speech word grouping of words, but yeah. That was exactly what Sora just done to me. Oh well. I think I was sorry I made for the exit. As I walked, I reflected back on what um, Sora had said. Clones and dividing cells, waking at different times, continuous copies, the ubiquitous Sora. I wondered if Sora was just trying to say that everything was all the same. So many saw with all our incomprehensible and spatial attributes, not having oneself was really not all that different. I guess. I wonder if that was what Sora wanted to say. Maybe she meant to say that you're a fucking clone. I wasn't sure. I didn't see much use in thinking anymore about things that I didn't understand. Also, one thing to point out, she did, Sora did say, and I'm not sure, I think she said this in the other timeline as well. She said, oh, and, and make sure this is a secret. And I'm, I'm like, why is this a secret? Isn't clone law, like, don't people know about this common sense-wise? I mean, I would think if this is something people use in infertilities and people just know about this, why would I keep that a secret? But she specifically said to keep it a secret, so that's curious. But anyways, 
That's what had happened. Squish. My foot came into contact with someone's something soft. Did I just step on Coco? Or Shonen? Coco or Shonen, this is a big deal. I felt as if I was stepping on a person. It's not a person, is it? One of my feet was standing on Shonen, small that. Okay, specifically it is Shonen. Okay. So I thought for some reason Shonen and Coco were switching places, but no. It's Shonen and Takeshi? Or is it just Shonen and Shonen? Hmm, 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 hmm. The Shonen is is the substitute for the other Shonen, and this Takeshi is the substitute for the other Takeshi. That seems to be the thing that's going on, but the conscious system jumping between this Takeshi and that Shonen. So, yeah. So that's a bit awkward, but okay. Hey, Shonen! Shonen, are you alright? I kneeled down next to him and raised his body up. Uh, uh, huh? Huh, indeed. Takeshi. Takeshi? Yep. What do you mean, ah, uh, Takeshi? What are you doing collapsed in a place like this? Place like this? Shonen bounced up like he'd been shocked. Ah, uh, so. Oh yeah! I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, my head just hurt, and oh, uh, this is all the fault of the other show. And maybe the other show is in command. You know, the reason this guy constantly gets like lapses and shit is because the other show is going through something mentally stressful, and it's affecting him. Possibly. And then it fell down here. Your head? That could be bad news. Hmm. No, I'm alright. I think a little sleep refreshed me. <laughs> Sleeping in the snow, sort of, question mark? You sure? Sure you're fine? Yeah. My back kind of hurts because you stepped on it. I said not to tell him I've been stepping on it. And I'm starved. My stomach won't stop growling. I see. Well, if you got an appetite, then you're probably okay, but... Maybe you should have Star take a look at you? Health people don't just get headaches and collapse all of a sudden. Did this happen in the other pathway? I don't think it did, but some of this dialogue is similar. Familiar. <sighs> Shonen having a yawn without my influence, how dare you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? What? What are you saying? Ellipses. Takeshi, you worry too much. I'm fine. I'm just a little uh, anemic is all, of course. If it's not that, I'm probably tired or hungry. Yeah, you already brought that up. Anyway, right now the only thing that hurts is my back. Yeah, you've already brought that up too. Yep, here's that constant amnesia on this shonen side going back again. It's weird, this one has seems to have anto grade, the other one was retro grade. This one might even just be anto and retro at the same time. Yeah, I just can't bring myself to tell him I've stepped on it. What about that? Let's go to the kiosk! Starving! Yeah, we already know. Saying that, showing me for the exit walking briskly. Shrugging, I watched him go. I was famished as well, but there was one more place I had to go before I went to the kiosk. Of course, it was to see Sugumi. Oh shit. Her surgery was done a long time before Sora's talking about W and Y. Over seven hours before. I asked Sora about Sugumi's condition. It required a total of 40 stitches and will take two months to heal, complete, heal completely. Until the rescue time re team arrives at Lemur, and we can get her out of here, she'll have to rest. I imagine Tsugumi will have to rest until the rescue team comes or she can get out of Lemur. Mm-hmm. Uh, except now because she's Wolverine. We were lucky that there were no damage to her brain or organs. Lucky she's not anemic. Ooh, they showed him. Only her right thigh was injured. Maybe only wasn't the best way to put it. In any case, she had a compound fracture and had a se severed artery. This is all the same shit. Might have died from blood loss. Thankful to you. Bottom of my balls. Enter the infirmary. Tsugumi was sleeping quietly on the bed in the far side of the room. It wasn't my first time. I had been in and out of the afternoon. 
thinking about it then it seemed like to me that the reason Sora had suddenly called me blah blah, blah probably been to take my mind off of Sugumi. Yeah, probably because uh, Sora's jealous of Sugumi. Is she yet? Has she gotten those feel feelings that strong yet? Anyways, her condition hadn't changed. She looked peaceful and was breathing steadily. A white blanket, da da da. She had a cast. Looked p painful. The smell of medicine. Scene was fairly raw, blah 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 blah. Reached my hand arm of the blanket and gently took Sugumi's palm in my hand. This seems newish, I think. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All I could do was repeat that mantra over and over to resting Sugumi. To arresting Sugumi. After eating dinner at the kiosk, the four of us, Yubisei, Coco, Shonen, and myself, moved to the rest area. Shonen started! Hi, hi, mate, mate. Whoa, wait! What? <laughs> oh. Bow, wow, wow, wow. Of course. Shonen was chasing Pee Pee around as they were around the statues. They all looked like they were having fun, of course. You decided. I'm gonna go look at Sora. Are you sure that's what you're doing? Head for the control room. Not the security room! Coco? Huh? I didn't see Coco anywhere. I decided to look into the nearby kiosk. She wasn't there. No one was. I emerged in the corridor. Squinting, I looked down the corridor to where it came to a T, only there was no sign of anyone. Ha, ah, came to a T, that's like... That's like metaphorical or something. Nearby was the entrance to the Lemurian ruins. The door was open. So come and play. I could hear a small splashing coming from that area. I entered the room as if it were inviting me in. Oh shit. Yeah, this is definitely new. Don't recognize this at all. Coco was standing in the center of the room. She was standing on a stone that was just above the water's surface, her feet together. Coco. Coco lifted her face. She looked lonely. Stripping my sweater. It's really cold at the moment, so I'm starting every session with my sweater on. Blech. She looked lonely. I approached her. What are you up to? Coco just stood there silently, eyes on the surface of the water. Looking closer, I saw that she was clutching something in her left hand. Is it the pendant? Coco took that something in her right hand and let loose with it, tossing it into space. Splish! The light splashing sound and something hit and sank in the water. It disappeared amidst a circle of expanding ripples. Splish! Coco threw something again. Small spray of water. Are these just pebbles? The lights reflected on the water shook uncertainly. Splish, splish, splish. Just as the waves were about to die away, Coco la launched something into the water. But the area was dark and I couldn't see what it was. Hey, Coco! Mm hmm? Mm hmm? What is that? Coco opened her hand and showed me. In her palm were tiny pebble sized pellets. I wonder if they were glass. They were transparent and shaped like water droplets. They were shaped like crystal teardrops. That's how they looked. It was as if she had a handful of tears. Glass tears? Ellipses. Coco flicked one of them with the tip of her finger. Splish. And that tear sunk into the water. You know, I... I've been thinking about Tsugumi. Coco said that, ignoring my question. Oh, shit. It's my fault. Yeah, I agree. What? Sugumi, she was just trying to save me. Yeah, pretty much. She was trying to help me. That's why Sugumi... Why Sugumi? Coco's shoulder shook. Really, I should have been the one hurt. Okay, the more and more I'm playing into this, I'm starting to think less and less that Coco is an evil mastermind, but it'd still be a fun theory, but I'm starting to think less and less that it's true. But, uh, obviously something crazy is going on, but whether or not anybody here is evil, um, starting to doubt, but, meh. No. If Sugumi hadn't saved me, I might have been dead. Splish. The tear traced an arc through the air before falling into the water. Tsugumi. Tsugumi. Indeed. I wonder if she's angry. 
No, she's probably a little, well, she's probably angry that at the, the circumstance, but not angry at you, because you're too perfect, right? Everybody fucking loves you. You're too adorable. Don't be silly. Why don't you be angry with you? Even if she were angry with anyone, it'd be me. I mean, my carelessness caused everything. I'm the one to blame. Thought that the sadness Coco was feeling, that was all my fault as well. No, no! It's not your fault! You know, we can just have fun blaming ourselves together. I feel like in this circumstance, the only one who's allowed to blame at all is Sugumi, because she's the one who got injured, but, uh, no, of course, we're gonna have fun blaming ourselves anyways. It was me, I'm to blame! It's because I wasn't paying attention! That's why Sugumi had to get hurt instead of me. Coco let the tears she was holding fall, scattering below her. I get it. A burst of white spray erupted from the water's surface below her. Take it, Pion! Hmm. And we still don't know where the Pion came from. Jumping off of the rock, Coco came bounding into my boobies. I'm gonna go apologize to Sugumi. I'm gonna go menasai. That I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry. Coco continued to bury her face in my boobs, crying. Coco's tears seep through into my skin and into my core, like rain falling on my boobies. Cold rain. The many ripples in the water continued to fan out, never disappearing. Coco and I went to the infirmary. Together, oh, inside the room was silent. We approached Sugumi's bed carefully so as to make not a sound. Sugumi's eyes were open. Yes, I have Coco with me, which means she can't be as much of a bitch as usual. She turned her face toward us. Nani? What? We came to see how you're doing. How are you doing? Same as I look. No more, no less. I see. Is that all? No. I don't know how to say what uh, had to be said. I didn't think that just saying I'm sorry and bowing my head would get my feelings across. I wanted to choose my words carefully. But... I, I, I... I came because I wanted to apologize to you, Sugumi. Coco opened her mouth before I could speak. Damn it! Ayamaru? Apologize? Mm. Yes! Because, because. You were trying to help me! So that's why I have to say, go menasai. I'm so sorry. And besides that, I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say sorry and thank you. Sorry and thank you, Sugumi. Yoko's voice shook and she almost sobbed as she tried her, her tied her words together. Tried to tie her words together. <laughs> you silly girl. Sugumi's expression hinted at a smile. Not a hint, that's clearly a smile. You don't have to say thank you, Coco. But you do have to say sorry? Question mark? Oh, of course. Of course, you don't have to apologize either. Because you didn't do anything wrong, Coco. Yeah, it was my dumbass fault. But, but. Please don't look so sad, alright? She's gonna be extended one of her arms from the bed. She touched her palm to Coco's cheek. 
起こるべくして起こったの。Everything happened because it was supposed to. That's a weird way of looking at it. 誰のせいでもないの。It's no one's fault. I have never seen Sugumi be so nice, so gentle. What are you talking about? She was always super nice to Coco, because everybody's fucking super nice to Coco. Except during that one time where Sugumi and Sora were arguing, they got a little mean towards Coco.、Um, but at the same time, Coco was the only thing that was able to break up their argument. Like, out of everything, nothing else could stop them from arguing except them. So, it's still, like, you know, example everybody and their fucking mothers is, just has to be sweet to Coco. Fuck you, Coco. You taste like diabetes. Her piercing gaze and sharp tongue. They could have belonged to an entirely different person. Just like how my piercing gaze and sharp tongue,、uh, or not so sharp tongue, could belong to Shonen somehow. But not this Shonen, a different Shonen. For an instant, I wondered what would have happened if I had come to see her alone. Maybe Shigumi was opening up to Coco. Coco, try to remember that time and what happened. Coco, try to remember that time and what happened. Who was it that asked Coco to hold the pipe? それは。It was. 私。Me. 私が頼んだの。It's a big chain. I asked you to. ココがあの場所に立ってたのは、私が指示を出したから。The reason you were standing there was because I told you to. Aww,、oh, that's sweet Sugumi. Ooh. つまり、私のせいなのよ。So it was my fault. そんなこと関係ないよ。That has nothing to do with it. うん。そうかもしれない。Maybe you're right. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe we should just play him to Kashi. Okay, what? だとしたら、私がココを突き飛ばしたことも、廃材が崩れ落ちてきたことも、誰の責任でもないということになる。So that would mean. So that would mean me pushing you out of the way and all those scrap materials falling. That was nobody's fault, right? That's how the cause and effect of things works. If you look for the cause, it just leads everywhere to no end. The cause of the cause of the cause, chasing after that and thinking it that way is kind of pointless, right? That depends, game. If you're trying to tell me that it's pointless to think of why things are different in different timelines, then I have to firmly disagree. If you make something different in a different timeline, I mean, maybe if it's a minor thing, I can excuse it. But if it's a major thing, like why you decides to not help solve the generator problem when she should know about Sora's problem in, Sugu- in Takeshi's timeline, that doesn't make any sense. I want a reason for that,、uh, but whatever. Uh, if it's a minor difference, I understand, but yeah, I don't know. That's why I said what I did. Everything happened because it was supposed to. Ellipses. And besides, I don't know what I did. 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 I don't know And I'm still alive. So that makes everything okay, okay? Oh, because what's most important is to keep on living? That's what I fucking told you in the future in another pathway, I think.、Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? After thinking it over for a while, Coco nodded without much confidence. Actually, no, that's not necessarily what I told her. That's what I attempted to tell Shonen, and then she tried to bitch me out. Like, that makes everything okay because she's still alive. That's what I tried to convince her of, but at first she got all bitchy at me because I tried to tell Shonen that, and then she told me her story and was like, no, it's not okay to just be alive. So that's hypocritical, or it means you remember the character development you got in the future, which would also be weird. It's alright if you don't understand it right now. You're probably too young to understand it yet. You're probably just too innocent. It's not the age. At this age, you probably could understand it. You're just too innocent. Because I think Coco is supposed to be the same age as Maya, right? Or one year younger. So, yeah. Anyway, just don't blame yourself. Or actually, it depends. Like, Maya's brother is supposed to be、uh, the older brother, the Oni Chan. Maya was like first year or second year. What year? She's in high school, but is she first year or second year? Because 
She might also be 16. Ah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she got skipped ahead because of her special circumstances. Like she never went to middle school or grade school and just went straight to high school. I don't know. And don't get that sad look either. Sugumi so gently pinched Coco's cheek with her fingers. Alright, you got it? Yeah. Coco furrowed her brow and gave a solid nod. Uh, looking for a good time to chime and I finally found my voice. Sugumi had said it was all nobody's fault, but I still felt I had to apologize to her. I was the one that had created the opportunity that made the accident possible. What is it? Sugumi's expression was as mild as before. Sugumi, as I was about to say, I was sorry. The shrill scream of whining siren rang too loud in my ears! What's that? No more flooding! Goku's face went pale. Focusing her eyes on one point of the wall, Sugumi raised her body up. Wait, Sugumi, what are you doing? I'm gonna see what's going on. Stupid, you have to rest! You can't go moving around! I'm fine, this injury is no big deal. Maybe you don't, you, knew, you know that, but I don't. No big deal! You're really something. I can't believe you're so stupid. Ellipses. Just stay here and take it easy. I'll go check things out. But. No butts. No coconuts. Got it? I don't want you moving an inch. Because if you do. Because. Because if you do, you have to deal with me. I think. Is what he's trying to say. I put my hand on Tsukumi's shoulder and laid her back on the bed. As soon as I figure out what's going on, I'll come back. Ellipses. Don't worry, everything will be fine. That's what you said, right? Everything will be fine as long as we're alive. Saying that, I jetted out of the room. Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming too. What is this, by the way? I, like, I don't remember if I remember this problem. Is this a new problem? I dashed out of the infirmary. I looked to the left and right. Coco, trailing behind me, grabbed and squeezed my hand. Takipion, what are we gonna do? Coco sounded scared. For now, we'll go to where everybody else is. I pulled along Coco as I ran. I headed for Dry to Stock. I descended the stairs in a blur. I peeked in the control room. No one was there. Kicking up water, I sprinted down the corridor. The alarm was still blaring. I strained to listen. I didn't hear the sound of seawater rushing in or the sound of partitions squeaking under pressure. But... But there was something that I heard in the gaps between the siren. It sounded like rain. Like water droplets pouring down on water and the sound of wind cutting through the sky. Okay. Oh wait, is this the because of the flowers thing? Is that all this is? Because Sora sounded the alarm temporarily when she was watering the flowers and it freaked everybody out, I think. But I was there in the room at the time in that timeline. What? What is that sound? A winded Coco asked me that. We were getting closer to the sound of the rain. A low sound had undercut the sound of the siren. Left of the corridor stood a gaping entranceway. Dashing into it, our eyes met the surprising sight. Flosh! A mass of droplets were showering down from the ceiling. It was the rest area. The whole area was obscured in a fine mist. And smack in the middle of it... Did we still have that talk with flowers? Talk about flowers with her? Probably. So, that's probably what led to this. But, you know, that siren's really fucking annoying, Sara. Just saying, should've disabled that beforehand. Sora was shining like a rainbow. We worked our way towards Sora, through the rain, trying to avoid the moisture as much as possible. Coco and I were already drenched. Sora, what in the world? Sora looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and looked out upward. Among the countless particles of mist, something was faintly visible on the other side. Sprinklers? <laughs> <laughs> So I just laughed. She didn't try to answer. Just then. <laughs> hey, what's happening? You frantically came running into the room. She was holding a fire extinguisher in her hands. She already had removed the safety pin, had the nozzle aimed, and was ready to let loose with it. It was a pretty clumsy looking attempt. I apologize for unduly causing your worry. I felt sorry for them, so I... Aw, I don't get to give the excuse in this pathway. Aw. Felt sorry. So I turned her gaze to the flower beds on the ground. Was this all just a water of the flowers? <laughs> he he. Or just one he. 
Sora just smiled, she didn't try to explain. There isn't a fire, an explosion, or anything like that? And see, you doesn't have to get mad at anyone. Why is it that I would uh, do that? Well, I guess so Sora would giggle about it later, but meh. Correct. So Sora wouldn't get in trouble, quote unquote. I'm very sorry. Sora's face didn't look like she was sorry. She's happy because the flowers got watered. And it looked like Sora was enjoying the droplets shining down from the sprinklers. Jeez, don't scare me like that. Aha, security room. Aha, you said control room. Security room, aha. Monitor in the security room gave a fire alarm, so I came running. You replaced the nozzle of the fire extinguisher and the safety pin. Oh, well, at least it was nothing serious. Better than the alternative. I suppose. Yeah! Coco, you and I heaved a sigh and sat down where we were. Sprinklers hadn't stopped. Sora was staring at the flowers with a look of pity. It looked as if the grass and flowers were dancing. Re reveling in the newfound moisture. Ale <laughs> yeah? Oh, case closed. What happened to the kiddo? To Shonen? Uh, or Shoujo even? And Pee Pee? I gotta remember how she says his name. Look around the room. Oh, right, Shochan. Yeah. I saw them. Shonen and Pee Pee were still running around the statues. Okay. Wow, that's, um. Wow, good for you, Shonen. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is farting. Well, that's something you remember, even with your amnesia. The old man is farting! I said farting, don't change my lyrics. <laughs> that's a new verse. And I'm singing in the rain cause I like the rain! You can't I'm rain with rain. Try again. <laughs> Wow. Delicious rain! Gulp, gulp, gulp! What a glorious feeling, but I don't want to catch a cold! Yeah, that's why you don't want to dance in the rain. You don't want to catch a fucking cold. Ruff, ruff! Maybe Pee Pee wants to catch a cold. I'm gonna get you now! What? Wait, oh, get Pee Pee, I guess? It's an acid rain shower! Oh my god, I'm singing! Why do I have to sing? <laughs> Nowhere in this rain does it say shonen. That's what he was actually singing. Shonen! Shonen! Show shonen! Show 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 shonen! Not quite, but closer to that than what's actually read there. What a glorious feeling. <laughs> riff, riff. Shonen and Pee Pee were running about in the downpour, screaming out joyfully. It went beyond playfulness. It was close to pathological. I wonder if Shonen has finally taken the plunge off the deep end. Close my, clasp my hands together as if praying for his recovery. Ha! That's funny! Because, you know why. Raid Lane, don't go away, don't come again some other day. Wait, you mean you, you mean do come? I mean, ah, uh, yeah, no, no, that's correct, that's correct. It's do come again, but you know you don't want them to come again. I mean, uh, uh, wait, no, Rain Rain, don't go away. No, it's Rain Rain, go away, don't come again some other day. That's what was tripping me up. Rrr. <laughs> Skip school. Wow. We know where his priorities lie. Now I sprinkle by a shower, an excuse to get dressed and skip school! Yep. Nerf! Pee Pee wants to skip school? Pee Pee skip dog school? Is there a dog school? Gooby, 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 gooby. Gooby, 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 gooby. I'm a gooby goober, yeah. As if. 
Delicious rain used to make beer. Used to make beer? The rain is? Oh my god, this is going on for so long. But if I drink it, the police will come! Ruff, 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 ruff! Time to run, gotta escape! The police? Don't forget the umbrella! I'm Shonen! I'm the Shonen! And I'm the Rain Shonen! But the rain can't get me because I'm Shonen! Ruff, ruff! Rain, rain, sweet rain! Come again another day! Yay, like, you know, I gotta say, um, Shonen's singing is great, but it really just would not be complete if it wasn't for PP's contributions. Thank you, PP. You are appreciated. It's finally fucking over, holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, and we're back in Shonen's perspective, and it's raining, apparently. Why is it raining? Confused. It's raining. 